This video is for Red Deer College students who have registered for or are planning to take their first calculus course. If you are one of these students, welcome to Red Deer College, keep watching and keep listening. As you may have read in the email sent to you recently, we strongly recommend that before starting the calculus course, you check the strength of your current mathematical skills by taking the Red Deer College Calculus Readiness Test. This video will explain how to go through the steps needed to access such test. There are three stages that you need to complete. The first one is registering at Much Learning, which is the website that contains the test. After that, you need to get ready to take the test by clarifying what it is and how to submit your answers. But of course, this is not the end of the process, since the purpose of the test is to see if you are ready for the course. So, you will also need to look at your score and use it to develop a good plan to ensure that your preparation for the course will be sufficient. So, let us start with the first stage, registering and match learning. Since match learning is a website, use a web browser to go to its home page, www.matchlearning.org. Firefox and Google Chrome work very well but Microsoft Explorer does not work well here at all, so we recommend that you do not use it. Once on this page, choose Register Now. This is a standard registration page, so enter the required information. Your login name will be the login email address you input here. The school is Red Deer College, and we recommend that you use your Red Deer College email address but you can use any valid address that you prefer. The password to be used here need not be the same as what you use to access your email, but you can pick the same one if you so prefer. Now click on I have a course key. In the field that now appears, enter the course key corresponding to your calculus section as provided in the email you received from Radio College. Since this key is a strange and case sensitive combination of characters, we recommend that you copy it from that email and paste it in this field. Also, make sure to use the course key for your section or your performance in the test may not be accessible to your advisors and instructors, something you will need to receive their assistance. You now need to convince the Match Learning site that you are a real human being and not a hacking computer. The CAPTCHA field allows you to do that. Type the words you see if you recognize them or reset them individual challenge, or, if you prefer, use the verbal challenge. As in all other websites of this kind, you have to agree to the terms of use, which are the reasonable terms used by any civilized program. To do so, check the box and click on the I accept button. At this point, Much Learning will tell you that your account has been created, but it needs to be activated. To do that, go to your email account and open the message from info at matchlearning.org triggered by your registration. A message that will look like this. Click on the link provided and you will be sent to this confirmation screen. You're now ready to go, so return to the Match Learning site. If you're connected to the same page again, like we're here, click on the switch user. Once you're here, or if you're sent here directly, Enter the login name and passwords that you have chosen and click on Login. You will now be within your Much Learning account and you will see a starting page that looks like this one, except possibly for the name of your calculus section, which may be different from what you see here. If you do not have an ad blocker add on, you may see these advertisements. Remember that these potentially distracting ads pay for the technical resources that Much Learning offers, so you don't have to. However, if you don't want to see them, install one of the many available ad blockers. This is what the screen will look like without ads. If you click on the name of your calculus section, you will see a table of contents for many pre-calculus and calculus topics. Explore them now or later to get a wealth of explanations and examples that can assist you in the course. For now, your interest is in the readiness test, so click on exams and you will see two tests available to you. The introduction component contains essential information on important features of the test. The questions component 
contains the actual mathematical test. Click on the introduction first, since you will not be allowed to go on to the questions component if you have not completed that one. This component consists of 11 very easy questions whose answers only require you to read the corresponding information. I will show you the first one so that you get a feel for them, but I have already answered the other ones to save you time. As you go through each question, read its information carefully, since by choosing the available answer you are admitting that you have indeed read and understood the information. Then click on the available option, click the Save Answer button, and you are done. If you want to add some notes for your later use or for the advisors and instructors who will help you later, you can do so by using the Attach Work button. When ready, move on to the second question and the third and so on until you have answered them all. Take your time as there is no time limit on this component. However, it should take you just a few minutes. When you are ready for the questions component, go back to the exams and click on the questions component. I will not do that now since I don't want to show you the mathematical questions of the test. Moreover, the introduction component will give you more information on the questions component. Once you have completed this second component, you are ready for the last and arguably most important stage of this process. On this exam page, you can check your percentage score. Based on the information given to you in the introduction component and in the email, take the action that is appropriate to your score. By dutifully engaging in this last stage, you will make yourself ready to start the calculus course with the needed skills and the appropriate attitude. If you need more information or clarifications, please contact us as described in the email. We wish you all the best in your calculus course and in your academic career, and we look forward to meeting you in class.